is a good load up. And it is just giving off super magic vibes. Oh, you know I want to touch that. The light! I'm alive! Oh, wait. Oh, waster? Right. Halfway there, at least. Maybe it's waster. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. Who are you? I had a name long ago. But now they just call me the Waster. Yeah, it is Wastard. Okay. What's a Wastard? Oh, you know, a real son of a witch. Get it? Ah. Wastards are rare, okay. magic users. I'm a necromancer, but when I refused to do that Dragon Lord's bidding, he ripped my soul out of my body and stuffed it into this relic. Dick move, right? Okay. Yeah, dick move. I'm actually headed to the Dragon Lord now. Gonna hit him a whole lot. Great. We're going the same way. Look. I need to get my body back. If you help me, I'll give you a powerful tool against the dragon. Ooh, Lord. that always sounds good. Yeah. A live demonstration. Well, half life. Let's see it. What is this? This looks crazy. It's protected by a barrier hex. Luckily, hexes are sort of my thing. See? Okay. Not a problem. Nice. Good trick. I'll show you how to dispel hexes once I have my body back. Now we gotta climb these cliffs. Road trip. Whoa, what did you just do? Hey, hey, relax. I'm just hitching a ride. Cool, Don't okay. Yeah, so these are gonna be a lot higher level. I would just like to highlight that I'm not putting up a fight about trusting this necromancer. That's character growth, baby. Totally unrelated. Newbie, there's something called the reverse exorcism, where you trap someone's soul in your own body and then explode, sending you both to hell. In case you need some money. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, that's real. Messy stuff. Happened to my buddy Connor at a birthday party. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am King Quattle. Hope you're all having an amazing day, and today we're here with some Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We're back here, and um... I was a little under leveled last episode, but we're good because we're um we're right where we should be. And I'm going to absolutely dominate the rest of the story because you know that's how we do it. <laughs> Not be 100% honest, I kind of like kind of forgot um what we're like really doing here, but that's what we're here for to remember. Um, I got some pretty good loot. I got a couple of, uh, you know, legendary things from last time. Ugh. Ugh. Dang! That <laughs> dude's crazy. There we go. Classic case of lockjaw. Gonna be here for a bit. Keep my friends busy. Uh, just to be clear, they're not my friends. Oh, I almost hit that thing. I didn't even try to. Hold on. Cutting deep, bro. Why? All right, so we died to the last dude, but um, I couldn't even hear what the last dude was talking about. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess we're on our own. Okay, I'm sensing some relics. They're definitely in here in the living quarters. All right, see which one of these relics is the strongest. We need a lot of soul energy to raise that jaw. Okay. He sounds like someone. I can't tell who it is. I, th I think it's probably a game that I've played recently. This one's gotta be it. That's not it. So none of the relics are good enough? None of the relics you can see. Wait. 
Did you mean to say wink? Yes, that was for newbie's benefit. Tina does her own close catch. <laughs> okay. Oh, hell no! No, uh, you ain't getting this magic. Are we sure about this one? Oh, yeah. That thing has big well energy <laughs> for sure. We'll get plenty of use out of it. Screw off! Big relic energy. Okay. Now we just need to channel this thing's energy into the jaw. I've got an arcane focus out in front. Head over there. I need to. I'm gonna look up who does his voice. Oh wow, my eyeballs. Now, the soul energy needs a body as a conduit, so you'll have to do it yourself. Place the relic, and we can begin. All right. This much soul energy, you need more than one person channeling it, or the effects could be catastrophic. Say it with me, Ragu. Barata Pesto! <laughs> okay, did I uh Ragu Barata Pesto Ragu Barata Pesto Ragu Barata Pesto Wow Collapse him, uh, Dragon Roots. I had no idea you could make friends in this game. Haven't you been playing bunkers and badasses for a while? Yeah, but I always just killed people and took their stuff. <laughs> for what? How many parties have you gotten kicked out of? Not counting this one, all of them. Welcome to my bachelor pad. Cozy. Okay. The Waxton's body floats above an obvious boss arena. An obvious boss arena. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting close. We're getting very close. All right, so I, I looked it up and I couldn't find anything um, about Wastard, but I think like I have to hear his voice again. I think I'm thinking of Ko from Valorant. I think. Yeah, it sounds a little like him. I mean, he has a robotic voice in uh, in, all the hell is he doing? in Valorant, so I'm not sure. I'm taking control. Sounds like him though. A beautiful body indeed, and full of power. This is weird. Let's kick this guy out of my body before it gets weird. This dude really took his body. You know how mad I'd be. <laughs> We do big damage though. Oh wow. I didn't think about that. We don't have any minions. Breathe. Sucks. Okay, 
he's out of there. Quit the violence. It's premium merchandise. So you didn't have a lot of loot. Interesting. We'll take it though. We will take it. There we go. We got his body back. Nice. Damn, you fight hard. I pulled a few punches. Now, you said you'd help us out. Of course. I'll honor my side of the deal. Here, follow me. Nice. I can't tell if that's him or not. It does sound like KO. And it'd be really cool because if it is KO, then that means that um, him and Ashley Birch have both worked on, of course, um, Valorant together and now Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I'm not sure if that's him, so don't quote me on that, but it sounds like him. It sounds a lot like him. Give you the ability to dispel the Dragon Lord's barrier hexes. But there is a cost. I'm pretty convinced that's him. <laughs> I swore off the use of necromancy for evil. So I want your permission before doing this. Oh yeah. Our souls though. Do we need that for anything? Eh, minor stuff. Soul magic, true love, jazz. Nothing important then. Seems fair. Dang. So I'm, uh, I guess. <laughs> Do it. So be it. So I'm getting rid of my soul. That's kind of crazy. Whoa. And there you go. You're one eighth undead. Enough to legally claim it on your taxes. <laughs> oh no, my saxophone dreams. Here. Tough. Oh. potent is mine, so you'll need to use a dispel room. Like this one over here. Give it a shot. That way we'll take you across the desert. You'll find the Dragon Lord's Fear Men in the center of a dead city known as Osiram. Thank you for returning my body to me, hero. What did that say? Did that say Osiram? So I like... I wish you good luck on your quest. You're gonna need it. Like Forbidden West? Osiram. Oh, and I've got one more thing if you're up for it. What is that? Osugol. I don't know how I read that as Osiram or heard it. I guess. I know Necro means dead. Polis is like city, isn't it? So city of dead. A city of death. Necropolis. Once we beat the Dragon Lord, we're gonna be legends! I'm gonna license my face on so many lunchboxes. <laughs> you can keep your merchandise. I want that sort of soul. So you think you guys might stick around after the campaign? I don't know. We really should get to fixing up our ship. Oh. I mean, are you sure? The outside world super sucks right now. <laughs> you can just stay here and play games with me. Aww. What is this? Side quest, okay. And here we are at the Osugol Necropolis. And this is at the foot of the pyramid. Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting close to the end, y'all. We're getting close to the end. Let's get it. Osugol Necropolis. Now I'm assuming this is probably gonna be everything leading up to the final boss fight. And then of course, um all right, we're pretty close to the end here. Soon the soul energy will all be mine. You understand what it is, right? Soul energy is wonder itself. Every mountain, every ocean, every pissy little goblin. They're held together by the imagination of a tyrannical teenager. Well, if it can make entire worlds, it can unmake them. I'm gonna take this madhouse prison, this wonderlands, and I'm gonna free us all from her control. The Wastard said the pyramid is surrounded by a city of the dead. We'll have to find a way in. So it is City of Death. I'm so smart, guys. You know? As you approach the gates, you see a soul bell brimming with necromantic power. The Dragon Lord is using it to cast a barrier hex over the entire city! Not a problem. Our dispel magic will work on that, too. We can kick that evil right out of the well. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. As you draw the evil magic out of the well, the magic takes form! Evil soul wraiths corrupting the well emerge to defend it. 
Where are they? Oh, these are them? Okay. <laughs> I didn't make that jump, now I'm stuck. That egg trapped me here for days, and you dispelled it all on your own. You must have powers beyond the mortal ken. Yeah, I'm pretty powerful. In fact, I'm on my way to defeat the Dragon Lord. Heck yeah. Then your path is through the orb of heroes. I know it well, though I was too weak to reach it. Come this way. When I heard of the <laughs> pumpy pumpy of comfort. Hoping the late soul energy of this city would allow me to bring her back. Perhaps you could succeed where I failed. I'm assuming this is what a shotgun? Looks like it launches things though. Brings us together. Mm. Bring her head and her body back together. I haven't thought that through yet. <laughs> okay. Hey, but if it brings us together, can't it bring her together? Two down, and that's uh, I guess two to go. Feeling that, you know? I'm trying to get to the boss. Uh, You're gonna have to go through the ancient uh, oh, oh, no. I see what's happening here. Tina, are you padding out the campaign so that we'll stay here and play bunkers and badasses with you? No. Uh, the ancient catacombs what is that? are an intense part of the narrative. So who's laughing uh, now? Valentine hides me. I need that. What is that? But I'll take the opportunity. With all this soul energy flowing to me, I can create all sorts of new nightmares. This city was built by a civilization of advanced sorcerers named the Vatu. I've launched an eon of dark campaigns from here, but it was dead long before I arrived. Hmm. The Vatu understood what soul energy was. They designed the city itself to siphon it out of the world. 
like they used it to rule like arrogant gods at the expense of everyone else. Actually, a pretty good game. I'll skip the rest of the exposition since you know where it's going. The Vatu and their souls were absorbed by the very arcane mechanisms they created. Classic. Just goes to show, no one stays the master forever. Well, not even you then. That's quite the dilemma, isn't it? <laughs> he clearly did not think that one through. Maybe that's the whole point. Uh, is he two steps ahead? That'd be like 50 steps stop. ahead. Does it bother you to know there were fate makers before you? All heroes of their own stories. But they never lived up to their namesake. They just played her game and went through the motions. Because that's exactly what she wants. Hmm. I mean, not really. That just means no one was as good as me, you know? Take these creations of mine. They exist only to do my bidding. And when they fail, I'll just make a hundred more. Because they're disposable. Like you. Hmm. What is that thing called? Oh my god, bro.